Steve Mignani here for Asseter Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction event. This is number 21 in the inventory. It's a 1961 Plymouth Savoy station wagon. And while these things were once very common on the roads of America, by about 1975 or so, they began to dry up. You just don't find these things anymore. This one's an original paint, light blue Survivor, I dare say. I love the color matched rims, the poverty caps, and again, being a Savoy, this is the entry level model of the full size Plymouth Seabody for 1961. Let's have a peek under the hood and see what we find. I love this. The trim is all here. The grill is here. The bumper is nice. This is always missing on these cars. It's there. Okay, pop the hood. What do we got? Oh, the leaning tower of power. There it is, the 225 slant six, not an aluminum block. You couldn't get that in these larger cars. It's an iron block, but you could get the aluminum block in the Valiant in 60, 61. But no carburetor, that's okay. Starter is missing, uh, manual drum brakes, manual steering, and yeah, I see a manual transmission. There's the linkage, it's a three on the tree. But under the hood here, the original blue paint, look at that, still has a shine to it. This is a wonderful Texas car, been well preserved and you know, preserved from, from rust because of the arid climate. Let's go inside, see what we find. Yeah, gotta love it. The windshield is in great shape. A little bit of a scuff there, but no fractures. These are hard to find if you need them. Let's pop that door open. Okay, yeah, it's got the usual, you know, wear and tear. It's a Texas desert car right here in the prairie. Three-speed manual. There it is right there. Clock delete. You paid extra bucks for the clock right there in the middle. This one uh, has a heater. It probably was a radio delete, but there's a modern no tape deck, tape deck kind of a thing in there right now, which is okay. Uh, the body is pretty solid on this one. These were notorious for rusting. So let's break out the magnet and get down low here. A little bit of pitting right there. But again, this is, uh, you know, it's never been body worked or repaired. It's a very honest car. Down low here, a little bit of bubbling, but that's solid. And again, the magnet sticks, but yeah, a little bit of bubbling. Might be some corrosion waiting to come through. You could probably keep this car in Texas. It would not change, uh, but you know, bring this thing to uh, Cape Cod or something like that. It might start to bubble up sooner than later. The, the uh, deck lid here might have been, okay, a small accent repair. I see some bubbling here. I think a localized dent was filled in, but otherwise the tailgate is in wonderful shape. The bumper here is wonderful. The steps to get up and load, seen only on the wagon. It's run down this side. Okay, a little bit of lower quarter panel rust. Yeah, it's inevitable right here. This bubbling you see here is definitely rust coming through. But again, this is not Bondo. This is factory metal, magnet sticking. And it's just, you know, the cause of uh, corrosion over the years. But this is an amazing 1961. This amount of rust, well, very uncommon. These cars are usually rusted into the ground uh, by 1975, let alone 2021. Let's take a peek inside here. And again, the original paint shines on the inside of the doors. Uh, it's dusty, but you could clean this baby out, get it running again, and have a really nice, low-level, austere family cruiser. Again, you just don't find cars like this. Number 21, a 61 Plymouth Savoy station wagon. It's a great opportunity. Bit away.